Welcome to another video. For today's video, let us answer the set of questions in the average round of Metrobank MTAP Math Challenge 2019 Division Orals for Grade 10 and we are going to explain in details how to get the answer. On number 1, how many different code words can be formed from the letter of the word division such that S and N are next to each other? So in our given, we have S and N are next to each other. So if we are going to rearrange the word division, we are going to have S, N, then D, I, V, I, I, O. So this one is considered as one group. And this one considered as six groups. So total of seven groups. So therefore, we are going to have seven factorial divided by three factorial because we have to consider the repeating letters that is I. That is permutation with repetition. And then let us multiply this one by two factorial because we can write ns in the form of ns or sn that is two ways so therefore let us simplify let us have seven factorial that is seven times six times five times four times three factorial over three factorial multiplied by two factorial that is two times one so let us cancel this one let us have 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 2 times 1. So if we are going to multiply this one, we are going to have 1,680 ways. And this will be our answer. On number 2, in a sequence 25A, B, C, and 25 over 49, the first third, and fifth term form a harmonic sequence, and the last three terms form a geometric sequence. What is C? Since the first term, that is 25, and then the third term is B, and the fifth term is 25 over 49, so this one forms a harmonic sequence. And we all know that the reciprocal of harmonic sequence is arithmetic sequence. So let us have the reciprocal of 25, that is 1 over 25. And then the reciprocal of B is 1 over B. So let us have the reciprocal of 25 over 49, that is 49 over 25. And this one is an example of arithmetic sequence. So to find the value of B, let us have 1 over b equals the mean of the first and last term that is 1 over 25 plus 49 over 25 all over 2. So let us have 1 over b. Since we have the same denominator, let us copy the denominator that is 25 and then let us add their numerator, 1 plus 49, that is 50. And then, 2. So the value of B is 1 over B equals 50 divided by 25, that is 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. So therefore, B is equal to 1. And then, the last three terms form a geometric sequence. So the last three terms are B, C, and 25 over 49. And the value of B, that is 1. So we have 1, C, and 25 over 49. So to find the value of C, let us have the square root of the first and last term, that is 1, times 25 over over 49. So let us have the square root of 1 times 25 is 25 over 49. 
So the value of C is the square root of 25 over 49, that is positive and negative 5 over 7. Because the common ratio of geometric sequence, it can be positive or it can be negative. So this will be our answer. On number 3, solve for x in 3x raised to 4 plus 4x cubed equals 5x squared plus 2x. So to find the value of x, the first thing that we're going to do is to move 5x squared plus 2x on the other side of the equation. So we are going to have 3x raised to 4 plus 4x cubed minus 5x squared minus 2x equals 0. And then, the greatest common factor of this equation, that is x. So we are going to factor out x. So let us have 3x cubed plus 4x squared minus 5x minus 2 equals 0. So therefore, one of the values of x is 0. And then, let us use synthetic division to find the other values of x in this expression. So let us have 3, 4, negative 5, and negative 2. So the possible values of x is 3, or positive and negative 3, positive and negative 2, positive and negative 1 half, positive, negative 1 third, positive or negative 1, etc. So let us have now 1. So let us have 3. 3 multiplied by 1, that is 3. Then let us add 4 plus 3 is 7. 7 times 1 is 7. Negative 5 plus 7, that is 2. And 2 times 1 is 2. So negative 2 plus 2, that is 0. So therefore, one of the values of x is 1. And then, let us have 3x squared plus 7x plus 2 equals 0. So let us find the factor of the given equation. So the factors of 3x squared, that is 3x and x. And what are the two numbers? If we multiply, we can get 2. And if we add, considering the value of a, that is 3, we can have the sum of 7. And that is 1 and 2. So if we are going to multiply this expression, we are going to have 3x squared plus 7x plus 2 equals 0. So let us have 3x plus 1 equals 0 and x plus 2 equals 0. So the value of x is negative 1 third and x is negative So therefore, the values of x are x equals negative 2, negative 1 third, 0, and 1. And this will be our answer. On number 4, the dimension of the wooden rectangular prism are 5, 7, and 8 units. Eight faces are painted blue, then the prism is cut into cubes. If two cubes are selected random, what is the probability that one has exactly one blue face and the other has exactly two blue faces? So the first thing that we're going to do is to find the volume of the given rectangular prism. And that is volume equals 5 times 7 times 8. So if you are going to multiply this one, 5 times 7 times 8, we are going to have 280. And then, to find the probability of exactly one blue face and exactly two blue faces, there are two formulas that you need to remember. So the first formula is exactly two faces. And that is 4 times a minus 2 plus b minus 2 
plus c minus 2. And then, the other one will be exactly one phase, and that is 2 times a minus 2 times b minus 2 plus b minus 2 times c minus 2 plus a minus 2 times c minus 2. So those are the different formulas that you need to remember if you encounter the same problem. And A, B, and C, those are the sides of rectangular prism. So let us have 4 multiplied by A, that is 5, minus 2, plus B, that is 7, minus 2, plus C, that is 8, minus 2. And to simplify, let us have 4, 5 minus 2, that is 3, plus 7 minus 2 is 5, and 8 minus 2, that is 6. And then, let us have 4, 3 plus 5 plus 6, that is 14. And 14 times 4, that is 56. And then, on the other side, let us have 2 multiplied by A, that is 5 minus 2, that is 3. And then B minus 2, that is 7 minus 2, that is 5. And then, let us have B minus 2, is also 5. Then C, that is 8. 8 minus 2, that is 6. And then A minus 2, that is 5 minus 2, we have 3. And then C minus 2, that is 8 minus 2, is 6. So let us simplify. Let us have 2 multiply by 3 times 5 is 15 plus 5 times 6 is 30 plus 3 times 6 that is 18. So let us have 2. 15 plus 30 plus 18 that is 63. And 63 times 2 that is 126. So therefore, let us have 56 combination 1 times 126 combination 1 all over 280 combination 2 because we are taking two cubes with the probability of exactly one blue face and exactly two blue faces. So let us simplify. The formula for combination that is n factorial over n minus r factorial times r factorial. So let us simplify. 56 taken 1 that is 56 multiplied by 126 over 280 times 279 over 2. And to simplify, let us have 56 times 126, 280 divided by 2, that is 140, times 279. We can cancel 56 and 140 because they are divisible by 28. So 56 becomes 2 and 140 becomes 5. Also, we can cancel 126 and 279 because they are divisible by 9. So 126 becomes 14 and 279 becomes 31. So let us have 2 multiplied by 14 over 5 times 31. So therefore, 2 times 14, that is 28. And then 5 times 31, that is 155. And this will be our answer. On number 5, a circle passes through the point 1, 3, 2, negative 2, and 6, 4. What is the radius? So to find the radius, let us represent 1, 3 as point A, 2, negative 2 as B, and 6, 4 as C. So let us find the slope of AB. 
So the formula for slope is y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So this will be negative 2 minus 3 over 2 minus 1. So this is negative 5 over 1. So this is negative 5. And then let us have the slope of BC that is 4 minus negative 2 over 6 minus 2. 4 minus negative 2, that is 6. And 6 minus 2, that is 4. So we can simplify this one, that is 3 over 2. And then, the slope of AC, that is 4 minus 3 over 6 minus 1. 4 minus 3 is 1 over 6 minus 1 is 5. Since the slope of AB and AC are perpendicular, we can say that AB is perpendicular to AC. If AB is perpendicular to AC, therefore, angle A is equal to 90 degrees. If angle A is 90 degrees, it will give us the idea that BC is a diameter. So therefore, let us find the distance of B to C. So let us have B, that is 2, negative 2, and C, that is 6 and 4. And the formula for distance of BC, that is square root of x square minus x sub 1 square plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 square. So let us have x sub 2, that is 6, minus x sub 1, that is 2, and then square, plus y sub 2, that is 4, minus negative 2, square. So let us have 6 minus 2, that is 4, 4 square, that is 16. And then 4 minus negative 2, that is 6, and 6 squared, that is 36. And then let us add, let us have square root of 16 plus 36, that is 52. So let us find the factors of 52, that is 4 times 13. And the square root of 4, that is 2, square root of 13. So this will be the distance of the diameter BC. Since we are talking about radius, radius is half of the diameter. So therefore, if we have 2 square root of 13, let us divide this one by 2. So the radius will be square root of 13 units. And this will be our answer. On number 6, a point K7 lies on the perpendicular bisector of the segment negative 1, 2, and 2, 9, what is k? So to find the value of k, the first step that we're going to do is to find the perpendicular slope of the given point. And the formula for slope, that is, slope equals y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. And that is 9 minus 2 all over 2 minus negative 1. So let us have 9 minus 2, that is 7, and 2 minus negative 1, that is 3. So to find the perpendicular slope, let us have the negative reciprocal of 7 over 3, that is negative 3 over 7. So this will be the perpendicular slope. And then the ne next step is, we are going to find the midpoint of x. And that is 2 plus negative 1 over 2. So this is 1 half. And then the midpoint of y is 9 plus 2 over 2. That is 11 over 2. And then 
let us have a point slope that is y minus y sub 1 equals slope times x minus x sub 1. So let us have y minus y sub 1 that is 11 over 2 equals negative 3 over 7 times x minus 1 half. So let us multiply 7 into y minus 11 over 2. That is 7y minus 77 over 2 equals, let us multiply negative 3 and x minus 1 half, and that is negative 3x plus 3 over 2. And then, let us multiply the whole equation by 2 to eliminate the denominator. 2 multiplied by 7y, that is 14y, let us cancel this one, minus 77. And then, 2 multiplied by negative 3x is negative 6x. Let us cancel, we have 3. Let us move negative 77 to the side of 3 and negative 6x to the side of 14y. So this will be 14y plus 6x equals 3 plus 77. So let us have 14y plus 6x, 77 plus 3, that is 80. So let us minimize our equation because they are divisible by 2. So 14y divided by 2, that is 7y. And then 6x divided by 2, that is 3x. And 80 divided by 2, that is 40. And then let us have k and 7. So this is x and this is y. So we have 7 multiplied by 7 plus 3k equals 40. 7 times 7 is 49 plus 3k equals 40. Let us move 49 to the side of 40. It will give us 3x or 3k equals 40 minus 49. So let us have 3k. 40 minus 49 is negative 9. Divide both sides by 3. So the value of k is negative 3. And this will be our answer. So I hope you will learn from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.